Welcome back to my YouTube page. I'm Jason Hubbard with eXp Realty. Selling your home is a big decision, and it's important to understand the legal contracts and the documents involved in the process. In this video of my home seller series, we'll break down the most important contracts and documents that you need to know about so you can feel confident and informed throughout the sales process. There are many different contracts and documents involved in the home selling process, but here's some of the most important ones. The listing agreement. This is the very first contract you'll encounter when you're selling your home. This contract outlines the terms of your relationship with your real estate agent and yourself. This one will include the agent's commission, the listing price, and the duration of the listing. Make sure you understand what you're paying out and who you're paying it to, what you're listing your house for, and how long the contract is valid for. The exclusive right to sell agreement is a more detailed version of the listing agreement. This one gives the real estate agent the exclusive right to market and sell your property, meaning that this contract states specifically that regardless as to who brings the buyer, yes, even if you find the buyer yourself, the agent is entitled to a commission. Next up is the purchase agreement. This legally binding contract between you and the buyer outlines all the terms and conditions of the sale, including the purchase price, the financing details, the closing date, and any contingencies that you may agree upon. Both parties must agree to sign this document before it's a valid contract. Then there are the disclosure documents. These documents inform the buyer about the property's condition, the history of the property, and any potential issues. Common disclosure forms include the seller's property disclosure. This one is where the seller lists everything that they know about the property. You have the lead-based paint disclosure. This one is important if your home was built before 1978 and it discloses the potential for the presence of lead-based paint. And then there's the HOA disclosures. This one's for properties that are located in a community with a homeowners association. It breaks down all the fees for the HOA like the monthly, quarterly, or annual dues the transfer fee, the disclosure fee, and any prepayment fees that the HOA may require. It also will notify if there's any capital improvement fees. Also, it dictates whether or not the buyer or the seller will pay for which fee. Then there's counter offers, okay? If the buyer makes an offer that you're not happy with, you can respond with a counter offer. This document allows you to adjust the terms of the offer such as the price, the closing date, or any contingencies. These are all our back and forth. The, con the counter offer can go back and forth until both parties agree on the final terms of the purchase agreement. Addendums are also common documents. These additional documents can be attached to the purchase agreement to clarify or amend any specific terms or conditions. Then there's titles documents. These documents confirm that you have the legal right to transfer ownership of the property to the buyer. Common title documents include the warranty deed and the title insurance policy. Then there's closing documents. These documents are signed at the closing to transfer ownership of the property and funds to the buyer. Common closing documents include the closing statement, which outlines all the financial transaction, including the distribution of funds and closing costs. The deed of trust or mortgage, which is with, if the buyer is financing the purchase, will outline the terms and conditions of the loan. And then there's the settlement statement, also known as the HUD-1 statement, that provides a summary of the closing costs and financial transactions of the purchase. Navigating these legal contracts and documents involved in the home selling process can be complex, but it's important to understand your rights and your obligations. By watching this video and working closely with a qualified real estate agent, you can ensure a smooth and successful sale. Don't be afraid to ask questions about any of the contracts or documents involved in, in the home selling process. Your real estate agent or an attorney could be happy to explain everything to you in detail. If you have any questions at all right now, please drop a comment down below 
or you can reach out to the number that you see here, 480-588-2281. If you could take a moment to hit the like button and then subscribe to my channel, this will get my video out there so I can help more people. Thank you again for sticking with me through this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you on the next one.